Chinese officials have said that Beijing is capable of screening almost a million people in a day as testing continued across the city in a bid to contain the spread of a fresh outbreak. The Chinese capital, which has, been, which has a population of over 20 million people, has been expanding testing after a new virus cluster linked to a meat market sparked fears of a second wave of infections. In the latest logistics and delivery service, staff are being tested for COVID-19. Beijing's first mobile inflatable laboratory of biosafety level 2 is set to become operational to increase the city's testing capacity. The lab will be carrying out nucleic acid tests as well as diagnosis. Then 我们的传递窗，呃，目前还处于安装的状态。通电之后，呃，传递的过程就是单向的打开。目的就能够让呃不同的实验室之间。Yeah, that there should be a cliff-like drop in the number of cases that are going to be reported over the course of this week. There is an indication that that could very well happen if the trend continues as it has done today. Of course, we have only had nine new cases reported in Beijing uh, in the last 24 hours. That's compared to more than 20 the day before. So that certainly is a positive sign. At the same time, though, there has been... Uh, a reported cluster in a factory on the southern side of Beijing in an area called Daxing where a, a Pepsi co factory is. It's, it's a plant for uh, snack foods in particular. It's not quite clear how many cases there have been that have m emerged out of that factory, uh, but certainly one might look at it and say perhaps the geographical spread of this outbreak has expanded a little bit beyond the west where the Sinfadi market is, uh, but we haven't got clarity on that just for the time being. Otherwise, uh, the signs that we are seeing at the moment uh, point to some good news after uh, what's been experienced by Beijing's population over the last week and a half. Right, and uh, talk to us about Beijing's first mobile inflatable laboratories. So would you mind repeating, repeating that, please? Do you have any further information on these first mobile inflatable laboratories that are said to be uh, operational um, in terms of testing and diagnostics? Well, there are more than 100 testing facilities in Beijing. And as far as we understand, according to reports, all of those are operational at the moment. And the testing capacity is up to uh, as much as a million tests per day if they use this sampling technique that they've used in Wuhan previously, which is essentially a case of uh, mixing uh, different samples together uh, and trying to see if a group of people may have been infected. Uh, and that allows the whole testing um, procedure to be sped up incredibly. Uh, there has been a, a big focus on testing all along in China. That's something that perhaps the West will be uh, looking towards as it continues to cope with their coronavirus difficulties. Uh, but this certainly seems to have been effective for China, uh, along with some of the other restrictions that have been in place. Uh, and they have been very uh, careful to uh, monitor people's movements uh, through the QR health code apps, uh, in different districts and people going into different buildings and so on and so forth, and also really focusing on particular target groups. And there has been an emphasis on trying to test uh, restaurant workers and delivery uh, men in particular. Uh, those are the people that are deemed to be most at risk.
Patrick, thank you very much for that report. That's our correspondent, Patrick Fock, coming to us live from Beijing with the latest on coronavirus today.